Tino Sports Central begin over a college football game preview and prediction in like 2020. Cheese it bowl between Oklahoma State and Miami, two teams of which are coming off of great seasons. And even though they've struggled down the stretch, it's still been a great season for both these teams as both teams were ranked in the top 10 at some point this year. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this game here today, starting out with your team trends. Last game for Oklahoma State, they beat Baylor 42-3 being the final score there. Very impressive win out of Oklahoma State to finish off the regular season. As for Miami, they lost to North Carolina 26-62 being the final score there. That was a terrible loss there against North Carolina. But then again, I mean, North Carolina looked great in that game. That was a very impressive game out of North Carolina. And even though, I mean, the Tar Heels are a great team this season in football, which is I mean, great for them, but for Miami, I mean, if you look at the rest of the season for Miami, this is a team that's been very consistent otherwise, um, and they've only taken one loss outside of that. I mean, they've been very consistently winning games uh, convincingly as well on the Miami side all season, which has been very impressive out of them. But for the winning streaks for both these teams, Oklahoma State's currently ranked 21st. They're 7-3 and three with a one-game winning streak. Miami's ranked 18th with an 8-2 and two record and a one-game losing streak. This game is going to be on Tuesday, December 29th, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time in Orlando. Spread currently says Oklahoma State by 2. ESPN FBI also going with the Cowboys 54%. And your Vegas prediction is also going with Oklahoma State here 35-31 to being the current projected final score. So the Cowboys are favored here in all three areas. Not very uh, surprised by that considering Oklahoma State has been a tad better down the stretch. Well, then again, I mean, both teams have taken... Uh, the majority of their losses in the last month of action, but still, I mean, both teams here have got a similar match as far as, far as momentum is concerned. But here's their stack of pressure for this game. Oklahoma State's got 29 points per game, 22 points allowed. So surprisingly enough, this Oklahoma State team has actually not scored a lot of points this season. Um, they got 233 pass yards a game, 194 rush yards. And then the defensive side is actually really good for the Cowboys this year, allowing 205 pass yards per game and then 106, for 160 rushing. As for Miami, they got 34 points per game, 26 points allowed. They got 269 pass yards a game. They got 163 rush yards. And for yards allowed, they got 226 passing and then 180 rushing. Kind of the thing that's common between both of these teams is both teams have not scored a lot of points this season, but they're both really good on defense. Um, if you look at Oklahoma State, which I mean, the Big 12, usually it's the opposite. Usually you see a ton of great offenses in the Big 12, which this season has definitely been um, a bit different from that, but I mean, if you look at Oklahoma State here, like their defense is allowed over 205 passers per game, which is actually not bad of a stat line at all. I mean, most most teams um, are happy if they can keep that number below 230. As for Miami, though, here, I mean, their passing game has been outstanding this season. They got Derek King, who uh, transferred in from Houston after last season, and he has been a huge addition for Miami this year as he's put up nearly 2,600 yards on the season. Uh, and that's through 10 games, let me remind you, with 22 touchdowns and five interceptions. I mean, if this was a normal season for Miami, it looks like Derek King could possibly uh, be right around the 3,500-yard range right now, which is extremely impressive. And Derek King has really had, I would say, a breakout season, and this has been a good decision for him to move to Miami, and he's going to be a huge factor in this game against an Oklahoma State defense that has actually been really good in the passing defense. Here's some key points for this one. Both teams have not been as good down the stretch. That is definitely a key thing here. Uh, Miami is more upside, though, in my opinion. I think Miami with Derek King, they do have the better quarterback in comparison to Spencer Sanders on the Oklahoma State side. I mean, Spencer Sanders is good as well, but I think we all can agree that Derek King has had the better season out of both of these quarterbacks, uh, especially in the touchdown interception ratio area as well. Um, but if you're looking at Miami, I mean, this Miami team has been playing very well all season. I'm just, I have no idea what happened in that North Carolina game. I mean, that North Carolina game was just all around just a terrible game, but otherwise, I mean, Miami's been playing very well down the or down the stretch, I mean, if you if you exclude that Tar Heel game, I mean, they've been playing very well. But Oklahoma State, thing is for them here is they do not have Chuba Hubbard. I mean, he it looks like he's going to the NFL draft, so he will not be in this game. And considering he was the leading rusher for Oklahoma State this season, that could be a major factor going into this game, so watch out for that. But in the final, here's what I'm going with. I'm going to go with Miami here. 34-31 to 31 is going to be the final score. Halftime score is going to be 21-17. to um, So I'm going against the spread here. I'm going to go with Miami. I just think Miami right now, I just trust them a little bit more than Oklahoma State. I mean, the Cowboys are a good team as well, and they've had some great games this season. But down the stretch, even though Miami had that terrible game to North Carolina, I mean, Oklahoma State's lost two of their last five, and that includes a loss to TCU that certainly or certainly should not have happened this year. So I'm going to go with Miami here. 34 to 31 is going to be the final score. We're going to see moderate scoring here. Probability is going to be 60% towards Miami as well. So I do think Miami is going to win, but I'm not very confident 
are confident with this one. I think Oklahoma State's definitely going to keep it close. Uh, but let me know your thoughts and comments below on this game. Let me know your score predictions, all that down below. I appreciate you guys all sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it. Subscribe as well if you're not already yet as it really helps the channel. And I really appreciate that. But once again, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you later.